Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I wanted to thank everybody for coming back. I also wanted to thank all the new subscribers for coming to the channel. I greatly appreciate it. If you could do me a favor and give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, that'd be greatly appreciated. And it really helps me my channel out, so thank you. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to kind of touch base with everybody and say thank you for all the new subscribers out there and everybody else who keeps coming back to the channel. I know when I first started the channel, I really wanted to help new flyers out. And I've also been helping out evidently a few other ones too besides. So, you know, some of you know, I've learned a few tricks from other people and just want to try to share what I've learned. You know, I don't know everything guys. I'm still learning myself, but if I can learn it and help teach you guys, you know, that's what we're out here for. So I don't know if you have uh, seen Danny's channel yet, but uh, he did me a shout out and you have no idea how much I greatly appreciate that Rocky Ridge. Uh, also did that for me. I have to say thank you to both of those guys for doing that. Adrian P did that for me. I have to say thank you to him too. I just wanted to kind of show you. Today is my first training toss, guys. And I thought I had only 65 young birds. <laughs> eh, I was wrong. I had 76. I was like, what? Evidently, I can't count where the darn guys. Ha <laughs> ha. It's hard to count them when they're in the loft because they're always flying around, you know. So I went through the inventory and kind of wrote down what band numbers I have and which ones I don't have. And I'm missing quite a few birds. I should have had at least 86 birds. I'm missing a total of 10 birds already since I've been here. So I'm not sure if the Hawks got them or they got spooked off and just didn't come back. I'm not sure guys, but I'm like I said, I'm planning on doing my first training toss. These are the baskets here. They're all full of birds. But the only bad thing I don't like about this right now is I need to make a few more baskets because to me, they're a little crowded, so. I'll kind of go and show you what I mean. As you can see here, I like to have a lot more room in there than what there is right now, okay? I like, I like this basket here. I don't want more than 20 birds. Right now I got 27 birds in there, or no. I got 17 birds in this basket. I got 27 birds in this basket. And I think I got 15 and 15 in them. I'm not 100% sure. Like I said, it's hard to count them all, guys. But to me, they're a little bit on the crowded side, especially when you start doing long distance training. You know, like when you're going out 50 to 100 miles, you know, they can get really overwhelmed or overheated in there. And you don't want that, guys. You want them to be able to sit down, relax, chill out. But right now I'm only doing just over a hair over a three quarter or just actually just under a three quarters of a mile so but i kind of wanted to show you you know what's going on so I'm, we're just waiting here kind of chilling waiting for these guys to get settled in a little bit as you can see here i got a nice big open fields here and like i said it's only three quarters from the mile from my house or just a little hair over actually or under i can't remember exactly but i'm on some dirt road out in the back of back country and my house is that way. And this little guy here, I don't want to toss him yet. I th thought about bringing him with and tossing him, but I'm gonna wait until I get closer to the house. I've only had him three weeks, okay? I don't want to toss him quite yet. It's a little too soon for him. He's, I don't think he knows where home is. So the rest of these guys have been flying anywhere between 45 minutes to an hour and a half. So, which is really good. So I said, if I gotta give him a try and see what happens here and hopefully I don't lose any, so. But anyways, we'll uh, wait a few more minutes here before I take and release these guys here. I'm gonna do one basket at a time, waiting, you know, 10 minutes between them, and then let them each, you know, another basket go each time. The reason I do that, guys, is it helps teach them birds all where home is, and it also teaches them that they're, um, each one are not following each leader, you know what I mean? But if you all of a sudden decide to toss all of them at once and they all go the wrong directions and don't know how to get home, you're not out all the birds. You're only out a few of them, hopefully. So well, majority of the time, you always got a few that always are, you know, good leaders and stuff like that. So hopefully you don't lose any of them to hawks and anything like that. So but anyways, I'll just kind of sit back and relax and you guys can see them being released here shortly, so. All right, guys, it's time to let the first basket go here. So I just wanted to kind of show you and here we go.
as you can see they're not used to coming out of the basket which is okay ain't nothing wrong with that gotta give them some time and after they start going they really go There they go. But the bad thing is, they don't know where home is yet. They should, but they don't. And I just seen one, went the wrong direction. And as you can see, I can see that can't see anything. That stinks. Hopefully they go. All right, guys. Time for the second basket here. I think I'm going to do a little bit bigger group this time. We're going to go with this group. Guys, <laughs> they're heading the wrong direction. Trying to get down here so I can see. There they go. And they're going the wrong way. I know you guys, I can't see them either. Oop, there goes one. Oop, there's a bigger group. That's the wrong way. Home is that way. Oop, now they're getting to figure it out a little more. The other group, I haven't seen it yet. The first group. Hopefully they get it figured out. I always get so nervous when I first do the first couple tosses until I know they can get home. But if they kind of mess it up today and it takes them quite a few hours to get home, it is about 10 o'clock in the morning, guys. And that would give them plenty of time to hopefully figure it out and how to get home. So, but I can't see them other birds again, so I'll have to wait for the next group. So that group took off and heading right to the right direction. Look at that. They're heading right towards home. Hopefully they keep that way. I don't know if you guys can see them or not. For some reason, when I first hit the video, it wouldn't go, but now it's going. Oh, darn it. They were heading the right direction, now they're heading the wrong direction. I hate when that happens. And of course these dang trees are in my dang way, I guess I need to pick a better spot. So that way they can see them easier. Alright guys, here's the last basket. What tarnation is going on down there? Oh, I can see the two big groups got just got together. Evidently, I didn't wait long enough between them, but that's okay, I guess. So, hopefully, they should find their way home then. I don't know if you guys can even see that far. I can barely see them. But anyways, I'll give you an update on how things are going at home and what time they get home and how many get home, I guess. All right, guys, I just got home and nobody's home yet. It's been close to 40 minutes since I released them three quarters of a mile. So hopefully they figure it out soon and uh, I'll give you a little update. Okay. Well, guys, I just see him uh, big group and they're clear over that direction over there making big circles yet. So they should be able to figure it out pretty quick here. So hopefully they, they get here home soon. I can see them. All right, guys, I told you I kind of give you a little update what's going on around here. Uh, the young birds. I let 76 young birds go out. I counted 75, but I could have miscounted again. I have four of them that are not being very not nice today. Actually, I had more than that, but four here right now, they still don't come in. And that means that tells me I overfed a little buggers. So when I call them, they don't come in, they don't get fed. 
but I called him you know, this morning to get him to come in because I was planning on doing another training class this afternoon, but that didn't work out. It is now almost seven o'clock and uh, I still ain't got them all in yet, so which makes it kind of difficult to count, so I could have miscounted, who knows. But anyways, I guess you can see here, I got the cock section, just cocks in here, no more hens, no more babies, they're all gone. But uh, as you can see here too, I got all the boxes so you can just only get in the front and that's it. I need to put a couple purses in here because I got more cocks than I do boxes. But that or I need to get rid of a few. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna do yet. Maybe both, who knows. But anyways, like I said, just wanted to kind of give you guys a little update what's going on. And then we got my hen section over here. So I'll kind of show you that next. I mean, it ain't much different than over there, but so you can see here, we just got hens in here. That's all we got. No cock birds, no nothing. So they got, they don't need near as much room. And if they have boxes, they'll actually try to, to mate up with each other. And of course you gotta have a male to make babies. So I had that problem last year. So that was my fault because I didn't know that. And I learned something new. So I wanted to pass it on to you guys. So just kind of wanted to give you a little update. So. I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Please like, share, and leave a comment below. If you guys like to see something else, please let me know. And thank you for watching.